Tipsy Friday. Productive week. Feel like spending some motherfucking money. I want that Staccato P. I want the XC, but I can't drop $4,400, man. So my list right now is Staccato P DPO. CAC 11.5 with the sand cutter at custom. CAC 14.5 with the E 3.2 bolt. The real buy was that drop last, this week on rooftop, man. The 14.5 with the sand cutter for 2400 That was the buy of the year. Fuck. You never, you're not going to see those again. Hell, three and a half, four years since I've been into this shit, I don't think I've ever seen a sand cutter sell for retail. Or an upper drop with it, for that matter. Damn shame. Should have snagged that bitch, but it wasn't ready. So, I don't know. Talk me out of it. Or guide me to the promised land. Which one do you think I should get? Scott O'Pee's great. Dying to try a nice 2011. I'm worried the P is going to be a little bit big for me. Like It's like I didn't really care for that Sig Legion. Big honking gun, you know. I don't have small hands. I don't have gigantic hands. They're right in the middle. To put it this way, I prefer my Glock 19 to my Glock 34. 34 is cool. But just, you know, you can move that 19 around a little bit better. Does that mean... I'm better off with the Scotto C2 DPO. Or should I go for the CAC upper and throw it on the Mars lower? Either or, 11.5 or 14.5. 11.5 comes with a sand cutter. Sand cutter's cool because it cuts sand. Just saying. I don't know. Talk me out of spending money. I'm drunk. No, I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm tipsy. Feeling wild. Or draw some cash on something fancy and cool, you know. That's how we do. I did pick up uh, Streamlight the uh, TLR V2 VIR basic and kiss my ass. Didn't like being in that uh, non IR splash bay when I shot my pistol. So I was like, all right, let's grab something. It was between that and the Surefire. I watched videos of the Surefire. It looked like it was a little too bright. Which is stupid to say, but within 15, 25 and shorter ranges, looking at steel plates, Surefire seemed to wash it out, whereas the Streamlight was like just right. Plus, it has a laser, and, and lasers are cool, so yeah, that's on the way. Snag the double dimp ODG PC for the fuck of it, because the ADM needs one, because I took it off the other one to put it on this one. And a set of precision, half by 28. Um, whatchamacallits there? Shims. Figured I'd give those a try. So, I figured I'd uh, keep on going. Fuck it. Top me out of it. I probably won't do anything because I'm a pussy when it comes to spending money, but I'm ready for something nice. Like, real nice. Like, real nice. Real nice, Clark. Scottos would, nice, would be nice to have, but I've, you know, only one I've held is a C2. That felt great, but those P's and XC's are really honk motherfuckers. I don't know if I'll be in love with it or regret spending all that money. A CAC 11.5 or a 14.5 will go on the Mars just nice. Got the 925 MRP on there now, but I'll probably end up taking another lower. The FTE's dropped on, uh, was it V1 Tactical or the other guy? I don't know. Tons of fancy shit all around. Wish I had a lot more money. Let me know. What do you think I should do? Shut the fuck up. Invest in an index fund. Hold out for the EOTech OGL. I'm going to use about four or five times a year. And then just look at it and take pictures of it. Or grab a, a CAC upper or a Staccato P. Both of which I can shoot all day, every day. 365, 24-7. This one for Yingling. You don't really taste great, but you're not woke, and I, I dig that about you. Enjoy your Friday, bitches. Mad love.